Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe back and I'm going to do my weekly reading update for June 17th, 2018. So this week was a little weird for reading. I did a lot of reading. I would say my, my numbers are good and I finished one book, but I have a lot of things now in progress and it's just kind of, it was weird. It was weird because I knew that when I got this book on Tuesday, I was going to just uh, stop reading whatever I was reading and read that. So which happened. Um, but I knew that. So, but I still, it's funny how I always have this aftermath of partial books. So, and again, you have to understand that most of the time I read a book, one book at a time. Like I do not read two books at a time very often. Um, I do try that every once in a while with a nonfiction and a fiction. It doesn't always work for me. Like some, I'll, I'll do it for a little bit and then I, I, I can't. I usually just focus on one book and that's the book I carry around with me until it's done. So, so last week I knew that on Tuesday I was getting this book on the Kindle. So I, uh, <laughs> I was like on Sunday, I'm like, okay, I'm going to finish this book today. And I had quite a bit of left uh, of it, but, um, I really wanted to finish it, but I have a problem. So the song of Achilles by Madeline Miller is the book that I am in the middle of. Um, I read quite a bit of it on Sunday and, um, I got to page 330. And I think the book's like 370, 372 or something. Um, I can't read the last 40 pages. I can't make myself do it right now. Um, I really wanted to finish this on Sunday and I had time. Um, I just, I got to the point where I was getting mad. And um, again, this is a retelling of um, the Iliad with um, you know, Achilles and Petroclus and they're, you know, growing up and then... Um, going to the Trojan War. And I really loved the, I would say the beginning and the middle, I really enjoyed. I I really got into this. Within pages, I was totally, um, Petroclus was one of my favorite characters. Like, I just love him. And so I wanted, I really enjoyed it up until, I would say about 3.30. I, the last, well, actually, I'd say 20 pages before that, I started to not like the decisions made. And I know that's part of the Iliad. Like, it's not, like I, I knew it was coming. And I think this is where my problem lies is that I know what's coming. I know how bad it's going to be and I don't want to see it. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. So I have 42 pages left. I, 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 it's been a week now since I touched this. Sunday was the last time I touched this. So I think I'm going to force myself either today or tomorrow and just sit down and read this, um, with no distractions and just make myself do it. Cause I want to know how she, how she does it, how she, how, you know, how she has it played out. Um, you know, because her, her writing, I love the writing and I'm really enjoying it up to that point. And then, so I don't know if anybody else had that problem when they read this book or anything. And I'm not trying to discourage anybody. I think this book has been really great up until, it's just my own little problem with not liking decisions that characters are making. And I know it's not really her fault either because it's based off of the Iliad. So I don't know. I'm having trouble. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I just, I don't know when I'm gonna finish that book. I'm hoping the next couple of days I can force it. Um, so I picked up The Mermaid by Christina Henry, um, either that night or, or Monday I did, because I was kind of waiting for the book that comes out on Tuesday. So, um, this is, uh, well, I think it's gonna be kind of a horror fantasy, fa uh, fairy tale kind of ish thing. She, um, had done some retellings with, um, Alice in Wonderland. She did Alice and the Red Queen, which I really enjoyed. Um, I didn't like Lost Boy because it was off of Peter Pan, but I'm not a Peter Pan fan at all, so that didn't work for me. But I think the writing was good. It was just, I didn't care. Um, <laughs> it was just... So anyway, The Mermaid is one of those weird ones. I actually won this in a Goodreads giveaway, so I was trying to get this read before it comes out. I think it comes out on Tuesday of this next week. And, um, I might, I'm probably not going to make it now at this point because I started it, but I just, I haven't had, I, I, I got distracted with the new book that came in and I just haven't got back to it. So I'm hoping to still pick this up in the next uh, couple weeks just to finish it out, um, or give it a better shot. I only got about 35 pages in. Um, so far, as I said, the beginning was really good. It was more like fairy tale like because it was talking about the mermaid and how she came to land. And I really liked that part. And then the next section starts and it's about P.T. Barnum. And I knew that was coming because it's about the description about P.T. Barnum and the mer mermaid. And, but I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not sure about this one. So anyway, um, I will probably try to get to this because again, I, I did get it in a giveaway and I'd really like to write a review on it. I don't do a whole lot of that online. But I figured since I got a free copy, I, I should do that. And I wanted to buy it anyway, because I really um, enjoyed 
um, you know, the Red Queen and uh, Alice. I really love Alice House, one of my favorite books. Um, so then on Tuesday, I got the book that I was waiting for, which was Ocean Light by Nalini Singh. So this is book 17 in the Side Changing series or book two in the Side Changing Trinity. Tr Trinity, I cannot say that today. Trinity, Trinity, three, Tr Trinity. I don't know, I can't see it today. Sorry guys. Um, this is our, you know, so it's in the second arc of the stories. So uh, this has to do with, uh, again, it's a paranormal romance series, one of my favorites uh, that has to do with uh, changelings and um, psychic people and, um, oh, I just lost it. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, and humans. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I like this because that did a lot of with the humans, which was not always what, you know, we don't get a, as much on that. So it's really cool to get their side. And then again, we get water changelings for really the first time the, a, a book on them. So we got to learn a lot of things about the, that, 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 um, group, which was really great. That was the best part of this book. Now, it was not my favorite of the series. I think it's a good, solid um, entry into that. So if you're into the series, I think you'll still enjoy it. Um, definitely don't start with this book. Like, again, go back to the very beginning. Um, they build on each other, even though each book is a, is a different couple. Again, paranormal romance. But they're awesome. The world building in here is phenomenal and as I said every time I get another book I learn more about the world and a different groups of people and I love how they build on each other like you relationships from one book and then you see them grow and get new people who meet new people from books that you've met before oh, I just I just love these books anyway I read this in two days this 400 page book so I thought I really enjoyed it um so that was, that was worth dropping the other books <laughs> I really enjoyed that um and then um Actually, on Sunday, um, after I had filmed, I had realized that I forgot that I <laughs> I was going to join a read-along by Ange at Beyond the Pages is doing a read-along of The North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. So this is a book I've been wanting to read since last year when I first heard about it. I think last, last spring or so. It was the first time I'd heard of her. And I, I am devastated to know that for years I did not know anything about this writer. I mean... I don't know yet if she's for me or not, but I meant it's still one of those things. Why did I not know about her in college? Like I, as I said, I was, I wrote a lot of papers on Jane Austen because um, that was part of my um, English lit stuff. And I mean, I wrote a lot of stuff about, you know, other, other people in that, in the Victorian age. But for some reason, I never heard about Gaskell until um, this last um, like year. So I'm... So I tried one of her short story collections, Gothic Tales, and I didn't really get along with it. Um, it just, I mean, I'm really bad with short stories anyway, so maybe that wasn't the way to go. And she writes kind of funny in short stories, so it wasn't really my thing. So anyway, I wanted to try North and South because um, I heard really good things about this one and Wives and Daughters, and I thought I'd try North and South first. Um, I did buy a couple of her other books, her older books um, that come before this, but I thought I'd pick up this one while they, sh while, um, the read along was going along just to try it. So I did read a couple chapters on Sunday and then a chapter on Monday and then I didn't touch it while I was reading Ocean Light. Um, so Thursday I decided to make this my primary book to try to catch up. Um, I did tab it all out for, you know, the read along and I, I'm just not really good with um, um, keeping to a couple chapters when I'm into a book, but I right now I'm actually the opposite. I'm behind. I because the last couple days at work were really um, long, and I did not come. Home, I didn't read much. I came home and I did not read. And um, yesterday I was really kind of busy, and I didn't read either. So, so today I'm gonna try to catch up on the pages that I need to do at least for the read along. So at least I'm kind of um, up to that. I'm not sure. Um, because I think I need to read at least 50 pages. I think I'm, because I'm at page 70, and I think I need to be around 130 or 150. I can't remember, because I'm that far behind. Anyway, but I want to catch up, and um, and then I'll decide if I'm going to continue with this book, or, I mean, if I'm going to read it just straight. Because I am, as I said, I mostly read books. I read one book at a time, and I read from, you know, start to end, or start to DNF. So again, this week is kind of weird because I have a lot of books that are partial and I'm not, haven't done that in a while. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to read along and do the chapters, you know, a couple chapters every day 
after I catch up or I'm just gonna keep reading. It matters how I feel after I read those 50 pages. At page 70, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm still not to the point where I'm compelled, like I need to pick it up and find out what happens. I'm still like, oh, okay, this is fun. And, um, Oh, anyway, the story for this is again, a, a woman and her family uh, moved to from the south to the north when her dad decides to change vocations. And it's they're um, going to from a, you know, very rural kind of area to industrial town and how that changes. And I think there's gonna be a lot of social commentary in here for industrial uh, revolution kind of stuff. And during that period and um, how people deal with um, that. And I'm just, um, I don't know enough about it. I hear as I said, I, I, I really want to read this. I just have not, you know, forced, put myself to do it at this point. So anyway, that's, so I'm probably going to, if today, catch up on my reading, if not continue on and, um, we'll see how that goes. So if I don't, if I decide to just read this after I catch up, just go back to reading the two chapters to three chapters that we have to do, uh, per day. Um, just don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm probably gonna read it straight through. I'm gonna say probably mostly off, most often. Um, if I, <laughs> if not, I had like all my library books come in. So um, I'm not sure. I might read one of these. So I have um, the Pic Picnic at Hanging Rock by uh, Joan Lindsay. It's an Australian classic. I think um, I think something happens. They go on a trip out to the top, out somewhere to the, out in the bush, I'm guessing, and something happens. I don't know, I just uh, saw that on Simon, uh, or Savage Reads, and he talked about it, and I'd like, I got it from the library. I also got one of the, um, oh, is it Philrin Fisher Mysteries, uh, Cocaine Blues by Carrie Greenwood. So I've heard, seen this, other people reading this, and I thought it was a mystery, so I'd try that out. I don't know, I haven't watched the Miss Fisher's Mysteries at all, I don't know. Um, I also picked up Red Clocks by, uh, oh, is it, is it Lini Zumas? Anyway, so I don't know. This is, again, the dystopian one about, it talks about um, if uh, some laws were passed that the there is no abortion and no, um, and the child has rights when it's conceived, I think, or something. And I don't know. So I've heard good and bad things about this. Mostly good. Mostly good. Um, so it just matters how I feel about it. I don't have it for very much longer. It was one of the 14 days uh, check renewals. So I have to either pick that up right away or it's not going to happen. And then I picked up, um, down a dark hallway by, um, Louise Duncan. And I saw that they're making a movie out of this. And this is one of the, I, I read Louise Duncan when I was a teenager. I read a lot of horror at that time. I was very much into it. I mean, I have, well, my Stephen King's, my Brian Lumley's, my, you know, Dean Coons. And then I read a lot of Christopher Pike and Louise Duncan and, Oh, there's somebody else. I'm just uh, R.L. Stein and stuff like that. So um, I read a lot of her books. One of her, my favorite ones is Ransom. And I, I don't have that copy anymore. And I thought I'd kept a few of my childhood favorite books. And that was one of them. And I think I finally got rid of it after many, many years. Or that's somewhere. Oh, no, no, I still have it. I do still have it. Ah anyway, <laughs> sorry. I just looked down and it's there. Um, anyway, so Dark Down a Dark Hall, I guess, is being made into a movie uh, this summer, I think. And... Um, Look how old it is. It has one of the card things. <laughs> anyway, so this is one I don't remember reading, but it's talking about um, a girl gets sent to a new private school. And um, I think it has to do with ghosts or something. I don't know. They're saying that they're all come with kind of some baggage. Um, all the kids who are going there to um, to uh, to go to school. They're, they were picked for a reason, but we don't know really why. But it's something to do with Blackwood, which is the school. So I don't know. Um, as I said, I saw the the commercial for or the trailer, and I was like, I don't remember that book by her. And so I don't know if I've read this. I might have. I just got it from the library. It took forever to get here since I figured it out. But you know, as I said, she. Uh, I, I mean, I read it. I mean, she wrote. Um, I know what you did last summer. And again, I read that way before there was a movie. So, <laughs> so anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool. So I just picked. Anyway. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, <laughs> that is my weekly reading update. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about Song of Achilles, um, and we'll see how I do with North and South, but I have all these library books that just came in. Like, they all come in at the same time. This is how it always happens, which is why I try to curb myself, which I don't do very good at, because I love getting books from the library. So we'll see what I read. I'm not sure what's gonna happen this week, so I guess we'll find out. So anyway, what are you guys reading? Anything good? Any of these that I need to focus on a little bit more? Let me know. Bye.